good evening everyone welcome to bisp solutions this is farha alam and uh, in in this uh, tutorial series we are learning about the otbi reporting tool and in our previous session we had seen uh, the simple creation and designing of the otbi dashboard and uh, we had uh, seen that uh, how do we uh, embed our otbi reports in the dashboard right so uh here comes a question as we embed the otbi analysis or otbi reports in the dashboard so the question comes can we embed the bip report in the otbi dashboard as well so the answer is yes we can uh, embed or insert the bip report in the otbi dashboard so today we are going to learn about bi uh, how do we embed or insert our bi publisher report in otbi dashboard so basically the bi publisher concept is based on data model so whenever we have to whenever we need to in uh, embed the bip report in the otbi dashboard firstly we have to create the data model so for time being i have already logged into the instance and this is uh, our catalog window under bi server and uh, this is basically the dashboard which i had already prepared and this is basically the otbi dashboard and all these are the otbi analysis and reports which i had uh, embedded in this otbi dashboard and today we are going to see how do we embed the bip report in the otbi dashboard so in order to do so firstly i have told you that uh, in order to embed the bip report in the otbi dashboard we we need to create the data model so what we have to do we just have to go to the create option and go to the data model click on the data model and here the data mod, uh, data model window will going to display before us and here we have to go to this uh, new data set uh, option and here we have to select this first one which is sql query as uh, the data model is completely based on sql query so here we need to write uh, the sql queries to create our data model and here we have to provide the name for the query invoice detail query this is the name for this sql query or data set and here we have to select the data source as uh, we had created a uh, our dashboard for the payables transactions right so same uh, for same using same subject area i am going to create my data model which is uh, fscm that is financial supply chain management system and here we have to write the sql query for this data model so i am going to write the sql query over here select sorry select invoice invoice or one more thing uh, i have already written this uh, query in the notepad so i'm just going to copy this one so this is basically our sql query i'm going to explain this one also i'm just going to copy this one and paste it under our sql query window so here what we have to what we are doing over here we are uh, basically uh, fetching uh, the data from the uh, ap invoices all table this is basically the table which uh, are which contains the all the invoices transaction so which, which column we are going to fetch from this table and we are going to fetch the invoice type invoice number id date invoice amount and invoice amount paid so this is 
the simple query for fetching these columns from this particular table which is ap invoices all after uh, writing the appropriate query for this one click on ok and here we can see our uh, sql query has been successfully executed over here so in order to see the data for this query we have to click on this view data option and we will get one confirmation message saved this uh, this has been saved over here and after that we have to click on this view option so that we will be able to view the data and here these are basically the uh, two representation in which uh, we can represent our data a table uh, tree view or table view right now the tree view has uh, been selected that's why our data is represented in tree view i am going to select this one so you'll be able to see the tabular view for this one <laughs> so after what uh, next what we have to do we have to save this data model click on this save option and then select the appropriate location as i am going to select my destination folder where i am saving all my analysis and dashboard so that comes under the shared folder custom and my analysis this is my folder and i am going to save this data model over here okay invoice dt my invoice detail dm dm stands for data model click on okay so as this data model has been saved next i am going to select some rows over here and then click on view option so that we will be able to see some more rows for this and after uh, fetching data or getting data from this uh, sql query we just have to click on this save as sample data option as we are going to create the bip report for using this data model so i am going to click on this save as sample data option and here we have we get con one confirmation message save as a sample data click on ok and next what we have to do we have to click on this create report option as we are creating the bip report and uh, when uh, create report uh, window has is uh, has opened or display before us so i am just going to cancel this one as uh, why i have cancelled this one as i am not uh, going to create any new data model as i am going to use uh, this existing one which i have just created and this is the one and this is our data model so i am going to select uh, this one by selecting this one i am going to create my report select this data model and click on okay and after the selecting the appropriate data model in order to generate this report we have to generate one uh, temp uh, gen layout for this uh, one also so i am going to provide the name for the uh, template in my invoice detail template temp stands for template and simply click on generate option so the uh, template layout has been generated for this data model and after that we have to save this report so same location i am going to provide for this report also and name i am going to provide over here my invoice detail report click on ok so the report has been saved over here you can see this one my invoice uh, detail report 
and just go to view report option so that you will be able to view this particular report which we have created using that particular data model invoice detail dm so this is our report which we have created next step is we have to go to the catalog option and search for the dashboard which we had previously created and this is our dashboard my first dashboard open this one and here are some tabs available over here in this dashboard ap invoice by period payment by period and here we have one detailed view for the this invoice detail information so next what i will do over here i am going to just open this particular dashboard in the edit mode as i am going to include the vip report in this otbi dashboard so after uh, opening this uh, particular dashboard in the edit mode i have to go to the add dashboard page or we can uh, insert our vip report in this uh, in the same page but i am going to select uh, another new page click on this one and click on add dashboard page and here we have to provide the name for the dashboard page invoice detail vip report is suggesting me because i have already created this one so i am just going to provide another name for this one my invoice detail vip report click on ok so another page has been created over here and what i will do over here i will just go to the expand this shared folder and search the report which is under my analysis expand this one also and this is our dash uh, this is our vip report my invoice detail report drag this one and drop it over here click on save and then run this dashboard so here we can see the data for this one right go to the properties window added dashboard as it is not uh, representing in the appropriate manner so what we have to do we have to click on the properties option and here we have to provide the appropriate width so that we will be able to see this particular vip report in our otbi dashboard in appropriate manner again so this has been saved go back to the catalog option and run this particular dashboard which is my first dashboard open this one and here we can see these three tabs are have been previously created in this dashboard and this is the new page which i have just created in order to insert or embed the bip report in our otbi dashboard and uh, all the uh, desired data has been coming over here is coming over here which is invoice type invoice number id date amount amount paid these are the columns which we are fetching from the ap invoices all and this is the table and this is how we can embed our bip report in the otbi dashboard so what are the steps 
to include or insert the BIP report in the OTBI dashboard. So firstly, what we have to do, we have to create firstly, we have to create the data model as it is the base of BIP report. So uh, we had created uh, this data model. This is our data model which we have created this for this one. And this is the query which we have right over which we have written over here for this. And these are the columns which we are fetching from this particular table which is AP invoices all. So this uh, data model is basically the base in uh, for the BIP report. So after creating this uh, data model what we uh, have done uh, we have just uh, simply create uh, uh, the, the report used by using this data model and what we have to do we just have to go to the view data option and then we have to click on view then we'll be able to get some result for this one and next we have to click on this save as sample data and then click on ok this is basically a quick revision for this one click on ok and after clicking on ok we have to go to the create report option then it will display the window to use uh, or upload uh, whatever data model you want to use so uh, what i have done i have just simply click on this cancel option as i am going to select the existing data model which is uh, my invoice detail dm this is uh, this is our data model i had i had selected this one in order to create this report after selecting this one i had clicked on ok then i had generate one uh, uh, template for this one and after generating the template i have to click on the save report option after saving this report we will get we'll get this particular report which is my invoice detail report open this one this is our bip report as there is too much data so that's why it is taking too much time to load we can also restrict this one by providing some specific rows by providing appropriate condition in order to restrict our report. Um, so this is the data or information which we are fetching from AP invoices all. After uh, generating this uh, BIP report, what we have to do, we have to go to the uh, catalog option and open our existing dashboard in the edit mode, which is this one. And then I had simply add one dashboard page over here. And after adding that, uh, after adding this uh, dashboard page, what I have done, I have just simply drag and drop this uh, my invoice detail BIP report in this uh, my invoice detail BIP report page. And this is basically all about. <laughs> bi publisher report in our otbi dashboard as uh, we in our previous session we had seen that uh, we how do we include or embed the otbi analysis in the otbi dashboard so the question comes can we embed our bip report in the otbi dashboard so today we have seen how uh, this thing can also be possible like uh, we can also embed our bip report in the otbi dashboard so today we have seen this one also and this is all about uh, how do how do we embed the bip report in the otbi dashboard and uh, for and our today's session also if you have any question regarding this please feel free to ask thank you everyone for watching